Carbon capture and storage, or CCS, is an effective way of reducing carbon dioxide emissions. It is key to climate change action and helping us to meet emissions targets. Offshore CCS works by capturing carbon dioxide emissions, or CO2, at the source of production. The gas is then compressed, transported via a buried pipeline to a suitable storage site and injected into rock layers deep underground. Porous layers of sandstone act like a sponge to store the CO2, while the impermeable rock layers form the barriers which will permanently trap it, similar to the way oil and gas has been stored naturally for millions of years. CCS is a proven technology that has been in safe operation globally for more than 40 years. There are over 6,000 kilometres of CO2 pipelines in North America today. Around the world, 23 commercial scale facilities are underway, capturing CO2 from industries such as natural gas processing and power generation, and the production of iron and steel, hydrogen, ethanol and fertilisers. A further 20 facilities are in development to accelerate the decarbonisation of industry. Through this experience and the knowledge gained from over 100 pilot and demonstration projects worldwide, CCS is enabling new, clean industries. The CarbonNet project is investigating the potential for a CCS network in Victoria's Gippsland region. The network will collect carbon dioxide emissions from industrial facilities in the La Trobe Valley and store them more than 1,000 metres under the seabed in Bass Strait. CarbonNet has undertaken extensive studies of potential CO2 storage sites, including the Pelican site offshore from Gippsland. Pelican is large enough to store at least 5 million tonnes of CO2 per year for 25 years. That's the equivalent of CO2 emissions from around 1 million cars every year that it operates. Work is underway to confirm the suitability of Pelican for CO2 storage, including the collection of rock samples to assess their ability to hold the CO2 in place. This will provide confidence that the CO2 storage will be permanent and safe. The environment is at the heart of the CarbonNet project. We're working with some of Australia's leading research organisations to test and validate atmospheric, land and ocean monitoring technology ahead of any carbon storage project in Bass Strait. The technology will be relevant not only to Australia, but could help to inform best practice offshore CCS monitoring in shallow marine environments globally. As CarbonNet proceeds to commercialisation, it will enable new industries in Victoria, such as fertiliser production and clean hydrogen for transport, heating and industrial use, boosting jobs and increasing investment into the state. CarbonNet, leading Victoria and Australia into a low emissions future.